it's incredibly important for school for, for ed tech companies who are ser- selling their services to schools to be used by students in the classroom to understand COPPA, what it means for them, what they have to do to comply with it. COPPA is a federal law, I think we all know that, that uh, governs the, the collection of information from students under 13 or from children under 13 generally. It's problematic for services that are being offered in a classroom because it requires you to get parental consent at a really high standard of parental consent. It's called verifiable parental consent. You hear that term a lot, but it means much more than just sending an email. It requires you to go out and get the parent to uh, call you by phone or send in a written consent form or fax it or have a video conference call. Um, You can imagine the friction that that creates in trying to get your services used in the classroom. Now, the FTC has recognized what a challenge that would be and how much that would impede teachers' abilities to use technological services for their students in the classroom. And so there's a really helpful exception under the COPPA regulations. It allows the school to give that consent, that parental consent, on behalf of the parents for the students to have their information collected by an online service, but only to the extent that the online service is used for the school's benefit subject to the school's control, and the data is used for that educational purpose and no other. So that allows ed tech companies to bypass our whole parental consent mechanism and rely on the schools to give that consent. But you gotta remember that that is limited in your use. If you use the information in any way outside of the educational services, um, if you disclose it to third parties, in a way that goes outside the purpose that the schools need you to have that data, then you're outside the scope of the consent that the schools gave. And you could be facing COPPA violations for your holding on or your disclosure of that student information. That's a big problem because COPPA is one of those few federal statutes that has teeth. It's got uh, the ability for a statutory monetary penalty for violations of up to $40,000 per violation per kid whose data you have without obtaining the proper consent for it. Those fines get big real quick. So ed tech services need to understand the scope of COPPA, the range in which they can use the information subject to the school's consent, and beyond which the risks that they would face in using the information of students outside that scope. So the schools can give the consent basically on behalf of the parents without really involving the parent in that process. Some uh, online services think that that means the schools have to explicitly ask the parent's consent to use their service, but they don't. The schools have a blanket right to provide the consent for educational services being used in the classroom. Now usually a school has to tell the parents at the beginning of every school year which services they use. Oftentimes the parents will sign something in a handbook that says they give you know, permission for their student to use the technology in the classroom. But schools don't have to get a specific parental consent each time. So the the ed tech provider should speak to this in their contract with the schools. Make clear that they are relying on the school providing the appropriate and all necessary consents to allow them to collect the information. 